Hey guys, how are you doing? As you can hear, st Tumblr still running, running strong. Uh, did a new one today. One of the last blades I have here actually was the last O1 blade, the larger kind of like a puffer. Uh, it was the larger brother of that, larger brother of that Amazon rosewood. I put it here just for comparison, comparison, comparison. So we have the large one, and you see I did the like, kind of like a blackout edition. All black carbon fiber hosex sheet in the same kind of concept what I've been doing lately just try to do it as narrow as possible you have the little ramp coming up nice up high not as high as some of the other ones I didn't have a piece long enough but it still has that overall look to it has that kind of like a finger troll in the kydex sheet so you know I do this nice and <laughs> Nice and st not stiff, but nice and good retention. Pretty, pretty strong. And here it is. Acid wash, stone wash. This one was kind of funny to do because it not even close to fit into my tumbler. <laughs> Have that small one, so I had like blade stuck in and was throwing, you know, piling the rugs on it, the media, just so it stone washes. But it did work out well. And you have again that really cool that grain of the steel over on the whole blade which I, I like it, I like it a lot it's such a cool cool look to it it's almost like a Damascus but then you have the stone wash and all that like bunch of different things going all together and uh, just overall look of it it's pretty neat especially when it's like dark dark even this one I like it a lot the unidirectional carbon fiber still every time I play with it, it still fascinates me, like it's grey here now but you turn it 90 degrees and it's black <laughs> like those pictures that you move around <laughs> and they move when you tilt them it's kind of similar concept to it it's pretty neat, I like it, you see that bevel it's uh, it's convex and it's uh, this one doesn't really have micro bevel but uh, because of that stone wash, no, yeah, because of the acid wash and stone wash uh, you have to clean it up afterwards and if I were to do the whole regular you know grind it would be coming up too high so what I did I grinded it nice and thin did the acid stone wash and then put it looks like secondary bevel but it's just actually blended in convex with just slightly different angle so you have convex edge here and then it changes a little bit so I get that kind of break there uh, between the grinds but it's still nice and thin and uh, performs well it's actually a little stronger on the edge on the, the whole grind or towards the edge is a little stronger than what I normally did on the T-Rexes because this larger blade is four and a half inch I remember right yeah four and a half inch blade exactly and nine and a quarter inch overall so it's kind of larger blade so I want it to be a little little stronger stronger so it can be used outdoors for really heavier stuff you know you can baton with it and stuff like that that's uh but it's still really nice and lean grind I have a piece of wood I don't even know what this is cuts real well it's very sharp push cutting phone book with ease I like this blade a lot it has that cool look of the black you know like black and out uh, good shape good pointed tip you see that tip it's nice and pointy I do like them you yes you can break them easy but at the same time, if you if you're not stupid, if you don't do the stupid things with the blade, the re really nice and fine tip can be very useful for you know you have a splinter and stuff like that. You can get it out with that very nice and fine tip for some detail work. I like it. Me personally, I like it. I know a lot of people might not like the delicate tips. I personally do, and you know if I break it, you know if I need to do something where I will break it, so be it. You know it happens. Uh, I will take the trade-off of having that fine tip uh, against having an indestruct indestructible blade. I will, me personally, I do, and uh, I like it. Came out pretty sweet. Anodized, hidden dice screws, removable handle. Didn't do no liner. I wanted to have like all black and out look. So kind of cool. Again, might not be everybody's taste with this all black stuff, but I think it's really neat. And it's like I said, it's kind of like a bigger brother of this one. 
just because it's longer it doesn't have that obvious curve on the top but it's very similar just stretched out it's from the same stock from the same width in just different dimensions but it's pretty much the same knife just scaled up so let me know what you think guys I really like them hopefully I will be able to pick up finally the shipping with the hardened steels that have the S125V stuff in it because I really want to finish that stuff for the blade show for the knife show so thanks for watching guys take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself